what's up suckers welcome back to another video thank you so much for tuning in wherever you guys are watching from at home at work on the toilet in the closet dinner table lunch break wherever and anywhere and yeah all that good stuff thank you so much for tuning in as you guys can see i am back out here at san diego bay harbor island with my son liam <laughs> and i got john and his friend jess right behind me right over there it's saturday morning it is windy we have no idea why the hell it's windy out of all weeks or all days we decide to come out to fish, Saturday morning decides to be windy as hell. I'm gonna to try to cut this intro as short as possible, so I'm gonna hop right into it. I'm gonna bring up the tide chart. As you can see on my left or right, your left, your right, you guys are gonna see what we will be working with today. As you guys see on the tide chart, um, it looks interesting. The tide looks very interesting. I don't even know where a high tide or low tide, but right now it is currently 6.15 a.m. It looks like the tide slacks out at 10.36 a.m. So I guess we're fishing the outgoing tide. From the looks of it, I can't really tell if it's going up or going down. It's kind of like, I don't know. It looks kind of weird. But today's supposed to be a little bit cooler because the whole week goes around 88 to 95 degrees. It's pretty warm for San Diego. But from the looks of it right here, it looks like it's going to be 75 degrees out here overcast. And uh, hopefully we get on them. So... We're going to try to put Liam on some more species, pick up his fish count and or his catch count, try to catch some fish today. Also, he did get a new rod and reel. Well, a new reel, not a new rod. He's using one of my prototypes, but he did get a new reel. So I have to spoil him a bit. Let me, let me show you guys. So I got Liam the Daiwa BG2500. You guys can see right here, spooled up with, okay. It is split up with 20 pound J braid, and the rod he will be using is the uh, Major Card Prototype. This is a 7 foot 2, two piece light rod. And also, if you guys are wondering, the leader is 20 pound fluoro, red label by Seaguire or Seager to a clip. And obviously, you guys already know he's going to be throwing some irons, maybe some cast masters, and get lucky and catch a halibut. We'll see. So, you ready to hop into it, dude? Yep. You ready? Yep. You ready, bro? Standing there looking like a weirdo. <laughs> but yeah, so you guys sit tight. Don't forget to wipe and uh, enjoy the show. Let's go. Iron? Iron or Castmaster? I'll go Iron. You don't want to go Castmaster? No. I will Castmaster if I don't get any work. Right, we might have to go a little bit heavier because of the wind, okay? Is there a lot of debris? Uh, not really. Alright, remember Liam, when you before you fish, you close this and always check your drag. That's too loose. Let's tighten up a bit. That's where you want it. Alright. Here you go, buddy. Fishing is a luxury. Fishing is a luxury, this mother. <laughs> go ahead. I wanna watch you cast first. Whoa, whoa, careful there, buddy. You cast it to your right. I think you went over John. Or find a flat rock, like that one right there. Get on it. Yeah, you cast it too far. Reel it up. Try to cast straight, okay? Oh, man, it is windy. Try not to let it hit the rock. Keep the rock tip up. Right there it is. Reel it fast, reel it fast. Fast, 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 fast. Oh, see, you have to bounce it up. When it comes close, you see it, you put your rod tip up and reel up fast. Okay. Get it out of the water, get it away from the rocks. Always look around you before you cast. All right, go ahead. You keep casting to the right. Just go to the left a little bit more on your next one. You're getting bit, Jess? Pay attention. You don't want you to get stuck in the rocks. You got a fish? All right, keep your rod tip up. All right. Remember, you have a lot of hooks on there, so be careful. Let me see. Bring it over here. Slow 
down. If you get stuck on grass too much, I'm gonna take the back hook off. Reel up a little bit more, yeah. That's good. Go to your left. Not too far, like to the left of the boat a little bit. Let me know if you want to switch it up, okay? Okay, bring it over here so I can take out the back hook. Yeah, when you get bites, it feels like like you're fighting something and it looks like like something is stomping. Like your rod is like moving like this. When you fish this, you feel them bite, you yank on it. You set the hook. It's not like throwing irons, because when when you throw an iron, they bite and run and they hook themselves. Bring it over here. All right, careful. Let's do a hookup bait. You cast it out and all you do is let it get the bottom and just bounce it. Let it get to the bottom. You bounce at the bottom. See how I'm at the bottom? Like this. You got grass? When you cast, you gotta cast it hard to get out there. Cast to your right. Try to cast as far as you can straight out to your right. Remember that bait, you gotta let it go up to the bottom and bounce it. Huh? What? You got bit? Go, go set it. You're on, hell yeah. Take your time, take your time. No, oh, keep reeling. He's taking you into the grass. All right. Go, keep reeling. Keep reeling it up. Bring him up. Bring him up. He's heavy. You need to work out. <laughs> All right. Got it. On the hookup bait. <laughs> All right. Uh, go, go to the, go to the bench. Go to the bench. Hell yeah. How did that feel? <laughs> It's heavy. <laughs> hey, give me some line. There you go. His second ever bass on a hookup bait. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that was pretty fun. Yeah? You want to hold him? I want to show you how to hold the bass. Okay, so you see where my thumb is? Your thumb, put it in by his, under his oh, tongue. I'm scared. And then your finger under here, you pinch hard, okay? If he moves, just let go. All right, go. I don't want to. This is go, I got him. Go, put it in. Deeper. Deeper. No, there. Pinch hard. Oh, the shirt. Oh. Yeah, you got <laughs> you to gotta have the bass thumb, homeboy. <laughs> I want to hold up the little tweezer thing. The little tweezer <laughs> thing. No, you got to hold him. No, this is really scary, Dad. I want to do this. <laughs> you don't? Yeah. All right, I got it. It's okay. <laughs> I know he has teeth. There it is. Your first fish this morning. Wow, look at that. Give me some. <laughs> good job. She said good job. Thank you. <laughs> when someone compliments you, you say thank you. All right, my son's first fish this morning. Pretty good. Now I'm not skunked up. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> say peace out. Peace out. <laughs> yeah, give me some. On the hookup bait. Let me see the bait. Bait is so good. On the hookup bait. It, 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 it got a haircut. You got a haircut? <laughs> there it is. You want to keep doing it? Yep. All right, go for it, bud. <laughs> yeah, you guys have been asking me in the comments to use hookup baits. Well, there you go. <laughs> All right, guys. 
we are making a move. Harbor Island, with the wind in our face, is pretty tough. But you know what? I skunked. <laughs> but this guy over here did not skunk. You excited, dude? Yeah. Hell yeah, give me some. Man, oh man, he set the hook himself, brought the fish up himself. But, you know, Papa Bear had to come in and unhook the fish because somebody uh, is scared to lip it. But understand, for kids, the teeth is sharp, so it could be kind of intimidating. How did it feel? T t tell the subscribers how your uh, solo catch feels. So basically, you have to be patient, and if if you feel a bite, you have to like let it bite, and yeah, there. <laughs> you set the hook. Yeah. So how did it feel though? Pretty, pretty hard. Pretty hard? Yeah, pretty heavy. You start working out. <laughs> you guys heard it from the man himself, Cub G. Caught a spotty. Skunks off for him. And yeah, John didn't skunk too. He caught a halibut and a spotty. I myself skunked. Jess skunked. So yeah, we're going to make a move right now. We're going to probably go over to Coronado. Right across the bridge. And hopefully the wind is behind us. And we're probably going to fish for another hour or so. Maybe. Yeah. We'll see how it is over there. So yeah, sit tight and enjoy the show. All right? you ready? Yep. Hell yeah. Let's go. All right, we're at Coronado, next to the ferry landing. Back at it again, right over here. My son is excited. You excited to catch number two today? Yep. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> we're gonna give it a shot. Nice and overcast right now. It is currently, what time is it? Eight o'clock, so about an hour left to fish in. Fingers crossed, we stick them. You ready, dude? Yep. <laughs> this kid is excited. So damn cool. All right, let's get to it, let's go. Say bye. 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 All right, man. Peace out. Peace out, dude. You got fun today? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Don't forget your seatbelt. All right, guys. We are calling it right there. Unfortunately, I skunked out. But you know what? It's fishing, not catching. I had a blast, anyways. Uh, took my son out. He caught a. He caught the only fish. Well, in our car. And John and Jess over there, they killed it. They caught maybe a total of five or six fish, a halibut and some spotties. I got one bite, but you know what? I'm more excited that I got Liam out to fish with me this morning. You know, we woke up at what, 4.30? Five. Five o'clock. And then, uh, yeah, came out here he, and he caught on a hookup baits. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to use hookup baits. And hookup baits is a big controversial, controversial so show. Um, brand or line of baits here in California or nationwide I I know why I know the whole background I know the whole history I get it there's a lot of hate towards Chad from hookup baits I fished with Chad before he's an alright guy you know he, he's just like us period he's human just like us we all make mistakes um, we're not all Saints don't act like you never ran a red light or wrote a stop sign We've all been there. Uh, we've all done small little knickknacks. And I get it. I get what he did. It was pretty bad. But hey, the past is the past. People change. So some of you guys need to get over it. Uh, I receive a lot of hate too from the stupid little things I guess I do in the bay. Like, for instance, I threw soft plastic into the bay when I was done with it one time. And I got destroyed for that. And um, catching macro. Because apparently catching macro offends a lot of people. And they think it's a joke. But you know what? I don't give a damn. I've gotten to that point where I just don't care anymore and just come out here and have a good time with my friends, family, my son, and share this content and creating memories with you guys to enjoy. So, yeah, there's that. There's that rant. But, yeah, I, I had a blast. You had a blast? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, got to close it out right there, man. Just get out here if you guys can. Have a good time. Bring your friends, families, dogs, wives, cat, mouse, rat, whatever. Just come out. That's pretty much it, guys. 
I'm uh, leaving it right there. But yeah, everything I use in this video, you guys already know, is in the description below, including the link to the BG Fishing Community. So be sure to check that out. And also comment below if you guys been out fishing, how have you guys been doing, how have you guys been holding up at home, your work life, all that stuff. You know what, let's start a conversation. And I would love to hear from you guys down below. And also, drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed these bay videos. Subscribe if you already have not. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. As always, good fishing. Peace the hell out. <laughs>